Good morning, I'm Jenny and you're watching Newsround. First, it was one of the most shocking news stories for many people this year. Jo Cox, the Member of Parliament, was killed outside her office as she was doing her work. Yesterday, a man called Thomas Mayer was found guilty of the crime and will go to jail for the rest of his life. Jo Cox. She was the Member of Parliament for the Batley and Spen area of Yorkshire. She was voted in by the people in her local area to work on issues that mattered to them. On the 16th of June this year, Jo was attacked near to where she had been holding a constituency surgery, which is where people can talk to MPs about any problems they have. She died and a man was arrested. Jo was described as hardworking, a star, someone who fought for a better world. Before she became an MP, she worked with charities to try to help tackle poverty to make life better for children around the world. As part of her job, she campaigned to help children affected by the Syrian refugee crisis and spoke about helping to bring communities together. Whilst we celebrate our diversity, the thing that surprises me time and time again as I travel around the constituency is that we are far more united and have far more in common than that which divides us. When Jo died, tributes were paid to her from all over the world and vigils and church services were held to remember her. Her husband, Brendan, paid this tribute to her outside the court. As a family, we will not respond to hatred with hatred. We will love like Jo did and know that although she is dead, the ideas and values that she held so dear will live on. Many people spoke of how important she was to them. After she died, we heard from some children from the area where she grew up, lived and worked. At first I thought all MPs were that boring, but when I met Jo Cox I knew some MPs were a really, really lively and funny character. And she was a really funny, caring person, going up and down the country, taking everyone's ideas and just trying to make the world a better place. She stood up for what she thought was right. It made a big difference to our community. Now, it's really unusual and shocking for a member of parliament to be killed. The judge said the man who killed Joe did it because he was racist and he hated her beliefs and values. Because it was such a serious crime, the judge has given him a whole life sentence, which is the toughest punishment he can give and means he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Well, you can find out more about Jo Cox and the work she did at Newsround Online. And remember, if you're upset by this or any story in the news, there's loads of help and advice there too. OK, moving on. Today is Thanksgiving, a big national holiday celebrated in America. Lots of people travel home to be with their families. And as a result, this happened. Drivers waited for more than four hours as they travelled home in Los Angeles on the West Coast. This was filmed by a news helicopter and has been really popular online. Some saying it looks like the road had been decorated with Christmas lights. That is unbelievable. Many celebrate Thanksgiving with a big family meal or watching street parades. It marks the beginning of the Christmas countdown for many Americans. So what's it all about? Here are some students from America to explain. We make a lot of food and a bunch of family comes over and we're basically just giving thanks for what we're grateful for. Pilgrims who came from England who came over here to settle for religious freedom and they were having a really hard time. Eventually the Indians, the Native Americans, had come over to help them hunt, um, fish, plant crops and when everything was grown, they celebrated and they invited the Indians and they had a gigantic feast. We eat turkey, like we bake turkey, bake yams, stuff like that, bake macaroni. I think Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful. It's not all about the eating, but eating takes part in it, to me at least. We have a, like a, it's like a feast yeah. of food. Like the Indians help the pilgrims, so that's why you kind of like thank everybody that's helped you. Well, there's loads more on Thanksgiving at Newsround Online. We've got everything you need to know. And once you know it, try this brilliant quiz. By the way, question four is particularly tricky. That's all from the team for now. Newsround's back right here at 8.15. Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs>